This is a quick video for um, anybody who is looking at getting this ESV heirloom Bible uh, thin line wide margin. If you're planning on doing, well, it's a wide margin, so you'll probably be planning on writing in it. Um, somebody asked me a question on my channel. I believe his name was um, Moses, if it's how you pronounce your name, M-O-I-S-E-S, -E if I'm getting that right. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you asked me about this Bible, if I had written in it, so... Here you go, I have written in it today just to show you. Um, all my Bibles that I'm planning on keeping, there's certain verses that I love to uh, mark up first. But um, Here you go, this is done with a Micron archival ink, a, oh, what point is that? I'm trying to get to, so close up, I won't even zoom in on that small word. I think these are point fours, point four five millimeter. So, they are excellent pens. They don't bleed through. As far as, you know, I haven't had one bleed through yet. Um, quick drying, so. Anyways, this is very thin paper, but it does really good, really good with pen, with these archival pens. As you can see, that's the show through. That's excellent for how thin this paper is. This is the thinnest paper I've ever had on a Bible, so. Um, it's good quality paper. It is thin though. Be careful guys, you can rip it really easy. So here I run on this side, and you can see where I ended with the pen, so I thought maybe that might bleed through. Um, it didn't. And you're going to get show through, obviously, in the margins. But look at that, where the text is underlining, nothing. And this isn't, you know, for a wide margin. Everybody knows that you're going to see ghosting that can't be prevented, so. Anyways, with a dark blue, I think it looks really good does really well. So, I'll compare it here to um, this Allen, which is 45 GSM. This is the Claritin wide margin, and it's the thickest paper on the market. So, let's see. We've got the same thing going on here. We'll flip over here, and as you can see, you got your normal show through, which 45 GSM is going to be a lot better than that thin Bible. But as you can see, push you down on there and you don't see the lines as much just barely but come on that's 45 gsm paper guys so what do you expect right that's like the best paper i love that bible it's amazing as you can see and then we'll go down to this one a lot darker but the lines that's just really good for how thin this thin line paper is so there you have it um i did do darker there and it's actually lighter on that side. But yeah, it looks excellent. Here's a 36 GSM paper. And flip it over here. The rip my paper here with the ribbon. Sorry about this. Try to do this quick. So as you can see, the lines, that's on 36 GSM. There you go. So not so bad for how thin this is. I mean, this is thin, thin stuff, guys. So um, how much do you expect from that thin a Bible paper? I think that's excellent if it's not bleeding through. But it does have a lot to do with what pens you're using, guys. So um, be aware. There's these these pens are about two to three dollars depending on where you shop, and you can go into arts and crafts stores. And pick them up and you can buy them individually and take in a Bible and test them out. Take in an older Bible that you want to test out the pins on and test them out. It's really cool. And they have all different colors, green, red, blue, brown. A lot of people don't even really know about them. But uh, the store people will know just go in and say, I'm looking for archival pins by uh, Pigma Microns. And they'll know exactly where they're at. If you get mixed up with the art ones, those aren't the same. The ones that the kids do with like anime art and stuff, that's what I used with my daughter's. And those things bled through. And this whole time people were telling me that, you know, use the microns, but they don't tell you that they use the, the archival ink. So there you go. Anyways, I hope that uh, helps you out if you're going to buy one of these. That's uh, really good underlining. Um, show through. It's not bad at all. So there you go. Uh, hope you like. God bless, guys. Take it easy.